So we discussed a bunch of points and we find that Nimawashi, even though it sounds good on the surface, it you know, there must be something shady going on. Because, <laughs> you know, you're talking about someone, it's like behind the scenes and you don't use any official channels and you know something it, it seems like a bit of a manipulative, <laughs> shady kind of thing you're doing there. Also, um, while it seems to be saving time at the meeting itself, it's so time consuming. Beforehand, you have to talk to so many different people. You don't. You have to like your totally sets off your work-life balance because you have to, you know, go and go play golf with your with your bucho and go drinking every time. <laughs> I mean, this is really hard for people that have a family at home and have to, you know, that have responsibilities outside of work. So I feel that um, that could have, you know, having to make use of extensive uh, nigamashi could really affect your personal life as well. And um, in that sense, it just seems very time consuming too, because you know, you don't only do it at work, you do it at work and outside of work. And uh, hence it kind of costs a lot of money too, because you could be using that time a lot more productively. <laughs> um, then another point is it sounds a bit like bribery to us, you know, because you have to buy a present for whoever you want to convince. It's you're not convincing them with your ideas, you're buying them stuff, okay? <laughs> that like is donuts. Bribery. Like donuts today. Like donuts. <laughs> <laughs> totally work. But <laughs> no, but at the same time it's just um, it's just not proper. It's you know, it's about getting your ideas out and not about what you can get in return. Because in that case, I could be like, oh, well, you know, I kind of think your idea is good, but I really, I have this perfume I've been wanting for a while, you know? <laughs> and it's, you know, right. right. <laughs> then, um, like you said, um, decision-making might not be based on the contents, but also on personal relationships. Because if I don't get along, for example, with uh, like a key player with my cacho, then maybe my ideas won't be recognized because you know, he's the first person I should be go talking to, and he shoots down every one of my ideas because he has a personal grudge against me. That doesn't seem very fair. So it's more, it seems Nimawashi is very popularity based. And um, talking about the whole, um, what's the, the, the written thing you call again? Ringi. Ringi show. Ringi seido. Ringi seido. So um, it seems like a very majority opinions pressure kind of thing. You know, you just, go through the movements and because everyone before you agreed already you kind of feel pressured into that collect collectivist mindset where you have to agree as well so maybe you won't criticize like critiquing is not what um, the system seems to call for like positive criticism kind of you know leaves the system because you know everyone else agrees I kind of have to agree too um, and it seems very inflexible too you know because every time you have to go around do that you know you revise your plan, okay, let's do another round of uh, Nemawashi and Ringi, Ringi, whatever. And uh, that takes, that's really inflexible and very time consuming. Uh, then in general, it's very inefficient, you know, too many meetings. Um, you know, try to include everyone, yes, but maybe not everyone wants to be included. And it, the Nemawashi kind of isolates who isn't a key player, because, you know, you go talk to the important people, but you don't actually, you don't talk to the people that are as of yet not important. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, <laughs> so you kind of isolate whoever is in the key player. And it seems also like a, we brought up this point that it seems like a fake bottom-up approach, you know? You go hand in your, um, your ring e. I'm just going to call it ring e because I can't remember well, the second is fine. Yeah, uh, You just go hand in your ring e and it gets refused because, you know, it's not the thing your butcher wanted or your shacho or kacho, whatever. Um, it's not what they were expecting, so they send it back and they'll be like, do it again. And they don't tell you what exactly it is they want. They just keep sending it back, keep sending your ideas back until you find the one that they were searching for. So, you know, it would be a lot more efficient and uh, if they would just, you know, don't, not use a fake bottom-up approach, but just properly say like, okay, this is what I want. Um, then yes, we did say that there's the danger of others taking credit for your, your ideas because I feel it's in a company it's very important to get credit for your ideas as well and yes, you hear of other, other people's ideas too but um, it might still 
it might still get lost. And you just, you know, there's mean people out there who will, <laughs> who will do that, who are very good at taking others' ideas. And I just feel that will, you know, because it's unofficially, um, someone will just take their idea and use it as yours. Um, so as a, but since we think idea sharing is really good, we thought of a, a different possibility, which is just, you know, establishing project teams in order to work on those ideas. You know, first get the general idea approved through an official channel, you like present it at the meeting, and then get started on the details and get a project force working on it, which includes maybe fewer people, but, but which will be more efficient and interactive. And one very last point is as well that it seems a bit unprofessional, you know. You're drinking and making really risky decisions for your business. Sure, because everything seems a good idea after two bottles of sake. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe it's better to like keep the business from, you know, the drinking separated and uh, maybe like hopefully not lose a bunch of, you know, I don't know couple million dollars here and there, or maybe, you know, something that might cost extra workplaces. And yeah, that's that. Uh, to just a minor add up, for the ceiling idea, I think it is worse, it could be worse in demo wash because uh, it is based on hierarchical system, not with the co-workers, but uh, Kacho or Pucho may steal your idea and you cannot talk back to them. No, 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 no. They will, um, in general, they, um, uh, they will support you. They will not try to steal your idea as if it was a, uh, his own original idea. And uh, uh, were you saying that Kacho uh, or Bucho might steal your idea? Uh, to, to say to <coughs> boss's boss that that, that, was that, my idea. that was the project mm. of ours. Well, yes, some really mean, yeah, mean mean guys may do it. Yeah, there's some mean guys. There's mean but people in general, them. they don't do that. Really? <laughs> yeah. We don't trust human nature. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, we trust human nature. Yeah. That is human nature. Okay. But that's Very interesting. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, bribery and uh, uh, shady and uh, collectives and uh, yeah, thank you very much. That's the first thing we thought of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I wrote back to one of you, uh, was that a Christian or Skyler? Uh, uh, in, uh, in, in, in America too, you guys tend to do a similar sort of a, uh, maneuvering, uh, very similar to the Amashi, which is a uh, lobbyist. You know, lobbying at the at the Congress, right? What's the difference? Are they similar or different? Could you enlighten me on that? Um, I think they're pretty similar, but when I was reading about uh, Nimawashi, I was imagining more of like inner company relations. Yep. And then when I think of lobbying, that's kind of going to outside groups and like trying to yeah. get them to support what you want. Yeah. So I mean, it's similar, but just on different levels. Yeah, so similar thing, right? And uh, you try to influence uh, the uh, uh, decision making of, uh, say, your congressman. And, uh, okay, uh, rifles are very important uh, to protect ourselves, so please support this uh, rifle belt, that kind of thing, right? Yes. Very similar, right? And uh, negative points, I, I accept. Um, I, uh, most of them. Yeah, and uh, uh, but stealing the idea a bit, I, I, I haven't seen that happening so often in uh, in a Japanese company. Sorry that it was that from Korea. Like uh, company, like right? at so many, you know, uh, like uh, like Tina, you said, okay, after we uh, make a sort of major decision as a uh, as a company, okay, let's do this this a uh, new uh, uh, cassette. Uh, headset uh, gadget, then we made, we made a project team, just 10 people. And uh, we have more sort of intense uh, dialogues and uh, sort of, you know, uh, discussions. And, uh, and um, that there we had a very good, uh, very democratic and, and, uh, structure where uh, younger people could propose ideas and uh, 
uh, experiment and everything. And uh, uh, that kind of project team is very, very popular in, uh, in a Japanese company after major decisions are made, you know. So what we have been talking about uh, before the major uh, uh, meeting, and uh, thank you very much for supporting the Nemawashi system. I feel, uh, uh, I feel good about it as a, as a Japanese. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for your, <laughs> for your uh, criticism too. And uh, I think uh, there are pros and cons in, in everything. But uh, uh, what I wanted to, uh, uh, to uh, 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 tell you is that uh, this is what's happening in most of the Japanese companies. So I just wanted you to realize it. And if you happen to be working for a Japanese company in the future, uh, I hope you will not be surprised to, uh, when you confront with uh, this kind of situation, but uh, deal with it wisely, okay? And, uh, and uh, uh, get your proposals go through smoothly with your demoashi. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. I have a question. Though. Yeah. So, how is it if, let's say, like your situation that you earlier explained, where a foreign company, Western company, wants to make a deal with a Japanese company, but they don't have a Japanese person like yourself as a liaison? Can, uh, are, willing com are Japanese companies willing to do nemawashi with foreigners? Um, well, the uh, direct uh, <clears throat> negotiations can be pretty difficult if uh, this Japanese company does not have a globally minded staff, you know, or consultant like myself. And uh, uh, many times uh, foreigners have difficulties in understanding what they're really thinking. And uh, okay, they make a proposal A, okay, whether the Japanese company likes the, uh, the uh, content of this proposal A, it is kind of difficult to, uh, to gauge you know, in the beginning because as, uh, as we said, we try to be nice to you guys. You know? Oh, it is a very good idea. You, know, you think, ha, hey, we got it, man. You know? Then you send a, an email or, or, or you call your headquarters back in New York Hey, we got it. We got a deal, and they say, "Yeah, uh, we uh, we think it's a very good idea," and we go back to our company and we discuss uh, among ourselves and come back to you uh, next week. Then we Japanese think, "Ha ha, it's 50-50. You guys think, "Ha, we got it, right, Skyler? You know? yes. But uh, then. Uh, so when uh, when you hear you know this kind of, the scale of a yes to no differs so much. There's a shift you know in the in the sort of a, how does it degree of uh, agreeing you know. Okay, it's a good idea. It does not mean that they agree. Right? So at first you have to understand the degree of honesty. Degree of honesty versus degree of politeness, right? But then you get used to it. Okay, this Mr. Tanaka tends to say yes all the time, but he does not mean it. Mr. Kinoshita, okay, he says he's very straightforward. He does not speak much, but when he does, he speaks straight. And you can judge. It's the same thing, you know, in, in, in other countries too. But in, in Japan, you really have to know uh, double-faced uh, syndrome, okay? And then you get used to it. But it tends to uh, take much longer than uh, uh, in the uh, uh, Western society. So it took me one year and a half to negotiate that deal. Yeah, one year and a half. Yeah, and, uh, uh, but actually, it was a very good deal. We bought 10% uh, for $10 million, which went up to $50 million in several months' time. Everybody was happy. Did I answer your, your question? Not 100%.
Yeah. We'll, we'll drink it. <laughs> we'll drink over a couple of sake. Okay. Right, so I'll see you at the uh, same place, Western Exit. West, yeah, Western Exit of Andy Suits at 7 o'clock. Okay, see you. What's wrong with the